welcome to the Skid Twins podcast. Um, we're kind of sad because we just finished recording, like, a, and I well, deleted all my notes on one hour podcast, and yeah, didn't actually save. So that's fantastic. So hopefully this one's just as good. Um, yeah. Can we stand up? Yeah, we can stand Somewhere. up. Um. Ugh. We normally um do it standing. Did I? We're still going. We're still going. We can can't. go on an adventure um, up to my bedroom and we can just record it up there where we normally do. Or in the sitting room. We can just do it there. Judith's gone. Is I'm Judith here. here? I'm Judith's here. here. I'm still coming. Fantastic. Okay. Um, but yeah, we, we did record a thing and then the thing didn't work. So now we're sad. But we're going to try again. We're going to... same levels of enthusiasm. <laughs> it's okay. I won't get a leg cramp on this one, hopefully. Um... But yeah, it was our birthday. We are a year older. Yeah. Um, birthdays are stressful and sucky. Yeah, you have like all the birthday admin to deal with, like saying thank you to everybody, but you have to do like the thank you in different ways. Yeah. Like you have to be like, oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Oh, thanks, thanks so Jer- much. And then I like to use different emojis too, just to sort of add to the personalization. Yeah. But yeah, you don't really fully enjoy your birthday until like, the evening, but I even then, like, I don't mind the birthday album, and I feel loved. I do too, but then sometimes you're still like, oh, that person didn't wish me happy birthday. Yeah, I was <laughs> like that this year. I was kind of watching it going, I wonder if such and such will wish me happy birthday, and then they didn't, and I was like, oh, okay then. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Yeah. Um, but also presents get kind of, I think they get kind of rubbish. Um, just because, I don't know, I just don't know what I want anymore don't need anything yeah you want something but i want something fun but then it's like what though because there's no point in yeah and then you're like oh but i just want a practical thing something that i'll use again and again yeah oh to be fair we got a gopro so i'm excited to use that in like south africa which is where we will be in two weeks time so the next podcast you listen to we will either be in south africa or we will be just back from south africa yeah we're gonna try and do one in south africa but yeah even on the beach, even if it's like a 10 minute one, just to sort of be like, hey, we're not dead. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I'm excited for South Africa, but also I don't feel like I'm in with the group yeah. that we're going out with. And yeah, we haven't fully explained our eyesight to them either. And that's just kind of like, it's not stressing me out. It's just kind of like, I can't be bothered to explain it again. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's hard too, because I don't want them to constantly be like, Oh, can you see that? Or like, do you yeah. mean, like like pitying, pitying us? Like you want them to be aware, but you don't want them to pit- pity you. But like, everybody's natural reaction is to pity you whenever they know about it. Yeah, and yeah. Like we've been doing master swimming since before Christmas, and we didn't tell anyone about our eyesight until Thursday just gone. And the two guys that we told were really interested. Yeah, um, they asked questions. They're, and stuff. they're like, I'm gonna be nice and say thirties. <laughs> I would say 30s. Um, but, you know, they were keen to ask questions and find out more, whereas people our age and, like, teenagers and stuff don't want to ask questions. It's not politically incorrect to ask questions. Yeah, you don't have to worry about being... If we say you can ask questions... Like, you can literally ask anything. Yeah. How do you cut your toenails? With great difficulty, mate. I'm mm-hmm. practically a yoga instructor. How do you know when you're finished wiping? I can see that far. Thanks. Sniff it. <laughs> Just give it a lick to make sure. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> um, that's gross. Yeah. But no, do ask questions, because um, otherwise we'll hound you. Like, I know that we take the mick out of, like, the silly questions that we've been asked. But, like, I mean... Whenever, like, in the actual situation, we will take it seriously, because it's like... Like, that's... People genuinely don't know that about our eyesight. And it's like, it might sound stupid to us, but to them, they're maybe being completely serious. Yeah. Like, we... Yeah, we... Yeah. Like you said, we would take it seriously. I was going to say something else, but I think... Like, um, we might joke about it afterwards, but at the same time, like... Yeah, like, please don't be offended. It's just... It would be like us asking a normal-sided person... Oh, so you can see that road sign? Yeah. Like, I've been laughed at for asking someone, like... Oh, so you can see that? And they're like, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, all right, okay, sorry, I can't. So, you know. <laughs> On the topic of eyesight, pretending to see things is... That's so exhausting. Because <sighs> oh. you're constantly, like, trying to gauge 
where everyone's looking because you they're all looking at a certain thing and yeah. you have to try and work out where that thing is you also sometimes they don't say what that thing is so you're trying to like is it a person is you're it trying to like tell by what they're talking about the way they're speaking if it's a thing or a person it's like yeah. 20 questions only you don't get to ask questions yes <laughs> 20 clues <laughs> And you have to laugh at the right time, and you know if if they go, <gasps> you have to kind of go, oh. <laughs> and if someone goes, isn't that cool? You have to go, yeah, in a really convincing way. Which yeah. When you're try, whenever you're really confused and stressed, Tired, and uh, yeah, you just it it's just, hard yeah. to sound sincere. <laughs> Just, I feel like I sound so fake sometimes though, because you're sort of you're awkward. Like I, whenever I feel really awkward, I smile. Yeah. Whenever I'm like sort of in a group situation like that, and then they're sort of like, Are you having a good time? And like in your head, you're like, I actually just want to die. Yeah. <laughs> but you're like, Yeah, I'm having a great time. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever say it, it's really good. Yeah. I am faking it. I always worry <laughs> so much because I know you so well that I know when you're faking it. And I'm like, Can I put in a bit of effort? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always so worried that everyone's gonna be like, she's having a terrible time. <laughs> I'm just sitting there going like, there's something wrong, Chloe. There's sometimes that I'm honestly like, people are gonna see this. People are gonna know I'm having a terrible time. But at the same time, like Chloe, you are having a terrible time. <laughs> you don't care if people figure this out. Do I do, do, I do that? Do I? <laughs> You'll be like, yeah. <laughs> I do that if I don't hear what people say as well. <laughs> Which I've been having real trouble with lately. People have been saying Saturday. stuff to me and I'm like, yeah. They're like, so you do like this? And it's like, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> oh, so you do like watermelon and pineapple? Yeah. And then I sort of lean back and I, I subconsciously, I think, pull an expression that is just sort of like, I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> like, we're just the wee old grannies in the back. <laughs> I love grapes! <laughs> and I feel so bad because I'm always like, surely my hearing should be good because I can't see. This is not fair. And yeah, I think my sense of smell is probably my, my greatest asset. <laughs> you said that and all I could think was just you standing up at the middle of a table. Someone farted. Someone farted and here he wasn't. I'm so going to do that. <laughs> just looking at a table across the room. It was you, wasn't it, sir? <laughs> I'm not blaming anyone at this table, but that table number six over there, he looks dodgy. I see you. It's just word table number six. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I can't see the numbers, I just had to roll. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like, we were out with the crew for South Africa on Saturday, and we were all sitting at a table in Morelli's, which is an ice cream place, slash restaurant, slash a cafe. Cafe? Uh, I don't know. Cafe? I don't know. It's a food place, yeah. mostly ice cream. Yeah. Um... But everyone was sitting at the table and me and Chloe were at the far end and everyone was chatting and Chloe was like, Judith, I can't hear what they're saying. And I was like, it's okay, me neither. And I was just sort of like laughing along when they were laughing and someone asked me something and I just kind of went, huh, yeah. <laughs> and then sat back. <laughs> <laughs> no more questions, please. <laughs> I wonder what it would be, it probably would be really weird if you just sort of looked at someone and you didn't hear it. Just no comment. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> That's the answer. That's me doing it instead of just going, what? What? A million times, just say it once and then go, no comment. <laughs> I'll go on, when's your birthday? No comment. <laughs> do you like steak? No comment. It works. It works. Are you having a good time? No comment. Oh, she hates it. <laughs> She's having a terrible time. I did not say that. I said no comment. <laughs> to be fair, that's basically me just going, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I'm only now thinking how many times. That's just my go-to phrase. <laughs> that's no. literally my go-to phrase. Well, you need to understand, <laughs> listeners. It's that exact voice. Do it again. It's always that exact intonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> And it's the fixed smile. <laughs> but I think 
that's um, the ice, ha- that's uh that's my um I'm having a terrible time version two. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stock please- phrase. <laughs> right, I know that you all know that it's fake now, but can you please tweet us and let let me know if it's believable. If if she said that to you, would you genuinely think she's having a great time? <laughs> Or would you know immediately that she is having a terrible time? Just clip that bit up. Let someone listen to it and say, sincere or lies? <laughs> I don't know, but if you did that to me, if you clipped up a random phrase and went, sincere or lies, I would automatically just be like, lies. <laughs> lies! Um, but yeah, give us a tweet at skit underscore twins. Um, skit under slash twins, if you're me. And- and let us know if... Just realised that this is really good because we didn't mention our social media in the last podcast we recorded. Did we not? No. Uh, we, we've we been listening back to our old podcasts. Call us vain. No, no, but... wasn't like the one that we like messed up before doing this No, one. we did. We did mention it. Oh, did we? Yeah. I don't think we mentioned the skit under slash twins. No, you didn't do the skit under slash twins, yeah. but we did skit underscore twins. That's good. Um, but yeah, let, let me know if um, Chloe's stock phrase... Yeah, sense. it's really good. <laughs> and again. Yeah, it's really good. I think it's the way you say really. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really good. I think it's the way they could that's Good. Good. It's the proper wee D on the end of the good. Yeah. But yeah, that's... <sighs> good times. Talking about liars. I was just going to try and tie it in with bent coppers there, but I'm not I'm not a one-show presenter. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We've been getting into that. We've watched. We've been watching it from the start. Line, so of, line of Duty. That is not Ben Coppers. <laughs> <laughs> Do I not say Line of Duty? <laughs> I don't think so. I meant to say Line of Duty, but yeah, we've been getting into that, and uh, we've watched it from the start, and now we're halfway through series two, and my mind is just melted. It's like we were watching well episode one of series. We watched three episodes of that today. Yeah. Um, we were watching episode one of series two, and we were just going, "It's her, isn't it? It's her. Not She's- him. Not him. <gasps> it's all of them. <laughs> They're all bent coppers." <laughs> <laughs> and then one of the coppers said one of my favourite Bible quotes. Jesus wept. <laughs> it's like it's John sixteen thirty two, I think. I don't want to look it up. Look it up, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to get it wrong. There, just don't want to get it. Why is it your favourite? Just because it's the shortest verse, but it can, you can just use it in so many situations. Like that policeman did. He said it after he got some bad news, and he just went, Jesus wept. And yeah, it just works. I mean, like, you might consider it blasphemous, but I mean... John 11, 35. Ah, uh, 1636. That was close. <laughs> Ish, yeah. If you take one off the 36, you get 35. And then if you replace the 6 and the 16 with a 1. <laughs> I like the way you've twisted this so it works. <laughs> Fair dues. I'm good at maths. <laughs> I'm good with numbers. <laughs> you are good with numbers, I'm proud of you. Um, yeah. We've one baby sheep, baby lamb, left in the sheds. His name's Tibby. It's like Toby with, with an I. It's Tibby. 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 Wee Tibby. Um, he was meant to go out to the field yesterday, but, but it it's was too cold. cold. So he's still in the, in, in the shed. He's the only one left inside. But he's happy, and whenever we go to feed him, he doesn't let us walk away until we give him a good wee head scratch. Yeah, he'll, he'll like, bat at you. You have to go, go go to me, go to me. While Um, scratching his head. Give him a good head scratch. (laughs) (laughs) I love that wee voice that you're doing. (laughs) It's a wee voice here. (laughs) I'm my tubby. You're Debbie. You're Debbie. You're Debbie. You're Debbie. Debbie the wee lamb. Debbie my wee lamb. <laughs> Debbie my wee lamb. He gets a head scratch. He's a good wee lamb. He, he is. is. I love him. Cars are really noisy in here. Yeah. Um. But yes, yeah, so we're going to South Africa in two weeks. Ish. Just under yeah. two weeks. Um. But we, I don't know. It's like a week and three days. Four days. Shh. It's not that far away. I don't have enough shorts. Yeah, me either. As long as I have enough pants and then, like, enough socks to do me a month. Yeah. Why do I stress so much about socks and pants? Like, there's... I think I'm sure there'll be washing facilities or whatever. There is. I looked it up last night, so... Sweet. So, it's fine. We just have to bring enough for, like, two days and then just wash it every other day. It's fine. Um, If everyone else is changing their clothes every single day, can't be hacked with that. That's just excessive. I have Birkensteins for South Africa. Birkenstocks, I believe, is the... 
the phrase. Birkenstein's is just engraved in my head now, so. The sandals that have the straps and are supposed to be good. They're like Jesus sandals. They're not really, they're Jesus sandals like crisscrossed and stuff, I think. Uh, how do we really know though? Yeah. Have they found true. some sandals? They probably have it? actually sandals yeah. from that time. But anyway, Birkenstein's, Birkenstocks, they're quite comfy. Better than flip flops. I don't mind flip flops. I don't mind a good flip flop. Philippe flop. I quite like them. But it's hard to get sandals that are comfortable to walk distances in. Yeah. Because they're all really, really flat. Especially the distance we walk. Yeah. <laughs> We're just the type of person that's like, yeah, like, oh yeah, we walked here. And just like, how long did it take you? Oh, only an hour. Yeah. I mean, a famous quote by me in a couple of years ago was, anywhere is within walking distance if you try hard enough. And it's true. I mean, um, you could walk from Derry to Belfast. People walk. people did that over the weekend, I think. Oh, they did Belfast to Derry for... Oh, uh, yeah. Lyra. 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 Um, people have said it so many different ways. I, I don't know, know it's, anymore. It's confusing. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have any recommendations for sandals that are really comfy to walk in, um, again, tweet I'll, us. I'll just stick with trainers. Yeah. The, the, the Velcro sandals that you used to get as a way in. The ones with the two Velcro straps, yeah, like dad saddles. dad saddles, yeah. But then you could get the like the not the elastic. You could get the like Velcro wrong, and then end up like scraping your feet to shreds. Or you can get. I remember getting really bad sunburn with those. Uh, um, so but you can like, get. But you can get really bad sunburn with any sandals. Yeah, but then I think it was the fact that they, like, your feet, moved slightly if you didn't put the Velcro on tight enough. But if yeah. you put the Velcro on tight, then it left Burned, your marks. Yeah. So it was kind of trying to get that balance. I would wear them with socks. Uh, yeah, I know that's like not long crunchy, socks, but like yeah, like just wee no, you know socks. the you know the wee like pop sock tights things. Those things. Well, like skin coloured ones. Yeah, but then you would still see that you're wearing tights over your toes. I mean, yeah, but then the rest of like it would only be like if you looked really close at your toes. But I'm really self conscious about my toes anyway, so like wouldn't really matter to me. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Like I know that people take the mick out of dads for wearing socks with sandals, but I mean. I wouldn't wear big long halfway up your leg socks but like if if I had to like I would wear ankle socks because your feet could still breathe yeah they wouldn't get too warm I but know. you would have protection from the sun anyway and it would just look like a shoe tan yeah and I don't mind a wee shoe tan yeah I probably have probably could get one anyway from wearing trainers all the time so I embrace it I also embrace the t-shirt tan slash farmer tan I love a good farmer tan like, it's better than having, like, shoulders that, like, just hurt and you can't put, like, anything on. Yeah. Like, if you get, if you get like, a, a vest top tan or, like, just any kind of tan where your shoulders and back are tanned slash burnt, like, that's awful whenever you get home because you have to put on a jacket. Yeah. Or a t-shirt. Yeah. Or a bra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I mean, if you're doing, no. like, strapless sunbathing, then, like. That's gonna I mean, hurt. guys, you too. Nothing worse than having to put on a bra after getting burnt there. Know, like, honestly, like you, <laughs> you understand the pain. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna be in South Africa. I know we're talking about South Africa a lot, but like, it's the only exciting. We're talking about our lives, guys. Okay, yeah. you can tell us about your life. Yeah, please do. That would be really exciting, interesting. Shh, shh. Let them talk. Nice. That's cool. Nice. Well done. I mean, alter yeah. alternative. Oh, uh, that sucks. I really hope that gets better soon. Can bounce back from this. Get some cream. <laughs> <laughs> For your sunburn. <laughs> Aloe vera. Who's Vera? Do we even aunt Vera? <laughs> Aloe vera. <laughs> uh, it works. Does she listen? <laughs> um... But yeah, good farmer tan. Can't beat it. Everyone's talking about like, oh, I'll just be wearing vest tops to get a nice tan. Nah, me, I'll just be wearing t-shirts the whole time. I'm I feel really awkward. I'm going to be like, like, they're just going to want to sit inside and drink tea and stuff in the evenings and stuff. Like, they're lovely people, but I don't think they're as active as us. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, I don't want to sit around all day. Like, I, I want to get out and explore yeah, South Africa. It's not every day that you're in South yeah. Africa. To me, like, if you're going on holiday somewhere, yeah, okay, sure, you can spend a few days just chilling or whatever, but, like, yeah. you may as well go out and see as much as like, you can. Like, if you want to relax, I think just stay at home. Yeah. Or, like, go somewhere, like, go to a hotel at home or near home. Yeah. Like, there's no point in going to a different country and not trying to experience 
as much of it as you can. I want to go surfing. Yeah. Or, like, I at least want to go in the sea and stuff. There's, like, a railway track near the place where we're staying. I want to go explore that. Like, like it's old. safe. It's safe. It's, like, an abandoned track. <laughs> so I was going to say, like, a real one. Can we get a train somewhere? But, yeah, that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Um, but I'm just going to be, like, they're going to be, like, oh, yeah, we're, we're just going to sit in and have, like, just some chill time. And I'll be, like, okay, I chill while I'm walking or running or exploring, so... You do you, I'll do me. Yeah, I'm going to chill at the beach with a surfboard. <laughs> I, feel so like I feel like they're going to be a freak out as well. Like, not like not even just because, oh, but are you sure you're okay? Like, will you be able to see all right? And it's just sort of like, I've surfed before. <laughs> but also they'll be like, but you'll be so tired for tomorrow. And I'll be like, um, I probably won't be. Or I might be, but I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> I will suffer through and just like whinge at Judith. I'll be like, Judith, I'm so tired. Why did we surf yesterday? And you'll be like, shut up. I'm having a really good time. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> no, I think if they were like, but wouldn't you be really tired tomorrow? I'll be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, over. tomorrow me can just. <laughs> yeah, that's for future me to worry about. Um, but yeah, we got haircuts. There's nothing worse than hair down the back of your t-shirt. Or else it eventually travels further south to your pants. Hairy pants. Hairy pants. Not comfortable. Like there's got, I know that they put the towel around you to like catch the hair, but there's no way of catching it all. Yeah. Like the only way. No, what's worse is whenever they're cutting your fringe and like your hands are trapped under like the thing. And you want gown, to brush it off And you want face. to brush it off your nose because you'd be like, it's making sneeze. my nose itch right now. I'm just talking about and it to be honest. You're like, you're sitting there and you're like, I'm going to sneeze and then my haircut's going to be ruined. And your eyes start watering, and then she, like she eventually sort of like I don't know like she moves away to like go get a different pair of scissors or something. Then you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Chloe was doing there was that she was putting her bottom lip over the top of her top lip. So I was basically blowing upwards. upwards over my nose and trying to get it. Out. Good audio descriptions here. I'm getting good. <sighs> Chloe, yeah, I'm gonna go see Hugh Jackman. Why? I know why. <laughs> he's great. He's fabulous. He's like, he's too talented. I'm not gonna lie. He's annoyingly oh, yeah, talented. He is. And he's nice as well. And it's just like Hugh Jackman. Can you please just, you not. know, <laughs> yeah, like save a bit of talent and stuff for other people. <laughs> like, <laughs> can't just wise up and stop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he can sing. He can dance. He can act. He's a nice person and he's tall I mean come on you can't have everything he has an Australian accent too yeah stop you Jackman give me some of your talent he can probably surf too probably can and he's, he's like really strong and stuff and, and fit so like that's not fair he's like practically an athlete as well just just be no you're great I, you're can I meet you yeah please I meant disgustingly talented in a nice way <laughs> Someday I want to meet, like, uh, these actors and stuff that I, I hate saying admire, but, like, respect, look up to. Yeah. And just be like, you're so disgustingly talented. <laughs> it is such an honour to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> just to see the reaction. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be best friends with Hugh Jackman. Just, I bet he gives nice hugs. Uh, he probably gives a good, solid handshake. Yeah. You can't beat a good solid handshake. Good fist bump. I bet his hand would like probably swallow my hand. I don't think he's that big. I don't know. I imagine his hand just completely covering my hand. If he did a two handed handshake, then yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be like a big hand hug. That'd be nice. Nice ham sandwich. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I feel really awkward whenever people do that because it's kind of like my hand is trapped now. You could literally just drag me anywhere and I'd just be forced to go with you. It's worse if you have sweaty hands. Yeah, that too. That's or have you ever had that from someone and then you're like, you're aware that they have sweaty hands and then you're kind of like, your hands smell bad. Yeah. That's weird. It's, it's mm -mm -mm. gross. Yeah. Don't give Chloe two handed handshakes. Thank you very much. I'm like, you can do the two handed handshake where you like start shaking someone's hand and then your other hand comes and sort of like slaps it like that. Yeah, like we tap. Yeah. So you don't like, like a full on just. I don't like it being, like, it's alright for a bit, but if you're just constantly, if you're still shaking my hand about 30 seconds later, like, if 
like whenever I'm shaking someone's hand, if I feel them pull away, I'll just let go. Yeah. Whereas like I have been like in handshakes and in hugs where I have tried to pull away and they've just kept going. I just sort of like, all oh, right, okay, right, yeah. There needs to be a set time for hands and handshakes and hugs. Yeah. Because sometimes you do try to pull away too early and you're like, oh, I've, I've offended this person because I've I've shortened their, their yeah. hug slash handshake. Yeah. Like, is yeah. in like, you mean like a time limit is in like, um, like acquaintances, yeah. friends, best friends. Yeah. How do you determine between friends and best friends? Like, what if someone said, what if I say, well, you're my best say, friend, but you're sort of like, yeah, they're all right. Um, I'm going to say if you've met someone for the first time, uh, you don't hug and you do a brief handshake. If it's a second or a third or fourth meeting, uh, you can do a longer handshake uh, or handshake and one arm round the back. Oh, like a bro yeah. hug? Um, longer than that you can you can do a quick hug like nearly a bounce off each other <laughs> or a fist bump or a fist bump fist um, bumps are good all the time but if it's if it's a planned meeting and you're meeting up with a person and you're chatting away and you're sort of like i'm so excited to see you uh i'm gonna say five seconds maximum for a hug like ever unless a person is crying this statue like we ornament thing i'm starting next to she just looks so dumb She's just like, yeah, what? Can you take a picture and I'll tweet it yeah. so that everyone can see it? Mine just looks really sassy. She has sort of eyes half closed, holding her hat as if like, oh, really, darling. There um, you go. That's that's a wee photo. Um. See so what have we discussed? We've discussed sheep and Hugh Jackman and sandals and South Africa. You know what else we need to get for South Africa? Sun cream. Yeah. Get that factor fifty out. You have to stay safe in the sun, guys. It's really important. Our podcast today is sponsored actually by the sun. The sun, it could, it's going to end the world someday. It's going to kill us all. That's joyful. Thanks for sharing that. Solar flares and sunburn and skin cancer. Uh, our podcast is also sponsored by having a really good time. <laughs> that sounded really like um, Claire from Terry Girls. If you're going somewhere and it's really good... <laughs> It's not good at all. Okay, leave. <laughs> and our podcast today is also sponsored by Birkenstein's. Birkenstein's. Chloe's weird invention for sandals that just don't actually exist. Our podcast is also sponsored by Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Disgustingly talented. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, our podcast today is brought to you by Death. Death. It awaits us all. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Um, Do you fear death, Chloe? I don't really. I just kind of most of the time I embrace it. I think I've been in enough near death experiences, mostly crossing roads. Yeah, that I just death is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Have we? I think we've talked about this before. Yeah. Where um, I cross roads now and I don't fear death. I just go, please be swift. <laughs> <laughs> Like, not even like, I don't want to die, or like, keep me safe, Lord, it's just let it be quick. <laughs> I'm painless, preferably. Yeah, I think that's the only bit of death I fear. If it's going to be just, painful. Yeah, if it's going to be prolonged. Like, if I'm on a plane or anything like that, I'm just sort of like, you know what? If I go now, be instant. <laughs> yeah, I, I think about that whenever I board a plane. I'm sort of like, we're landing or whatever, we're like going up in the air and everything gets really shaky, and I'm like, it'll be instant, guys. <laughs> Or like Instant. If, you're, if you're landing, whenever every time we're landing and I'm near a window, I'm like, we're going too fast. We're, this is it. This is it, <laughs> guys. It's been a pleasure. Say your prayers. <laughs> like, gen, like almost every time we're landing, if it's a bumpy landing, I'm like, well, I had a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that too. <laughs> we're just gonna look at each other like a <coughs> flight to South Africa or something. We're just gonna be like, yep. Well, <laughs> amen. <laughs> But like, I just look at my fellow passengers and go, it's been nice. <laughs> it's I been a privilege say, playing with you tonight. I should say that out loud next time, just, well, it's been good. <laughs> oh, you hit the runway. <laughs> and the, oh. land, the landing gear's down, you're like, oh, well, that's lucky. <laughs> that's lucky. <laughs> no, I think you should just pretend to be like, really overjoyed and just, not today, death. No, just unbuckle your seatbelt straight up and just go, DEATH!
zero. Zero to one. <laughs> Thank you. I want to get on a plane every time and just pretend I'm a really nervous flyer just to see how people react. <laughs> this is my first time on a plane. You know, um, I've never flown before, and I'm just constantly trying, supposed to make that noise. Yeah, <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> no, no. You're the wee boo boo <laughs> noise. Just as soon as that happens, where's the life vest? <laughs> <laughs> or like a wee tiny bit of st- turbulence and just bright <laughs> and the time the steward goes past sorry emergency exit still at the front to the left <laughs> as if they'd move <laughs> have you got incontinence pads because I don't trust myself what if we go down and I'm on the toilet <laughs> Walking up to the toilet, just are these safe to flush? <laughs> How far back do I need to stand from it? Is there an airlock? Is like a vacuum? <laughs> no, don't lie. I no, don't lie. I'm not gonna lie. I used to be terrified of airplane, airplane toilets. They make me jump every time. Yeah, I always have to block my ears whenever I flush them because it's just so loud. <laughs> really? Don't do that. It just makes me. I jump. just don't like the sound of them. It's not even that it's too loud. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're flushing away Donald Duck I feel really bad <laughs> You have to hang out in the aisle And just be watching the safety demonstration Just, just, just I'm watching this <laughs> Just remember the This coming. could save your life <laughs> <laughs> like, Please pay careful attention To the um, Like the leaflet thing in this back Is there going to be a test on this <laughs> I was going to say just start writing notes on it <laughs> As they go through the safety demonstration, just be writing notes. They're walking away. Excuse me, was it round the back and then clip? <laughs> Please, can you do this for South Africa? I'll video it. Excuse me, can I just try the life jacket on? <laughs> and you tug here, just. That <laughs> <laughs> thing inflates. <laughs> do we get a wee trial run on the slide? <laughs> Sorry, should we not do a fire drill? <laughs> you're sitting in the emergency exit room and then you know the way they show you how to open it just in case of emergency. Can I practice? <laughs> Genuinely would. I would honestly be like, can I just try that really quickly? And they'd be like, um, no. Just, right. <laughs> so in an emergency, you want it to be my first time doing it? Excuse me, would you trust a first time heart surgeon? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I know what in theory. Just let me just scalpel. Um, oh, that doesn't look like the dummy at all, does it? It's actually got nipples. <laughs> oh, there's a lot more blood than the train on dummy, isn't there? <laughs> oh, it's moving too. Oh, <gasps> anesthetic. <laughs> to be fair, if you're a heart surgeon, that wouldn't be your job. That's, that's fair. <laughs> I just sort of meant breathing. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> you meant like the person rolling around screaming, well, you just got me open! <laughs> Do you prefer a while not lighter than the dummy do? <laughs> <laughs> so imagine your heart surgeon coming. All right, how are you? I'm Nurse Chloe. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm Nurse Chloe. <laughs> I'm Surgeon Chloe. I'm going to be doing your heart bypass today, okay? So just you sit there and I'll get my wee anaesthetist to come over and just give you a wee bit of something just to knock you out, all right? <laughs> I'll see you when you come round. Bye. I'm really excited for my first heart surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I just get a wee selfie just before? I'll get one after too if you survive. <sighs> Everybody say first heart surgery. <laughs> Imagine, your, would you trust your pilot if they were like, this is my first time flying? Flying a plane? I'm pretty sure they have to be on, on like, they're like co-pilots first, are they not? And then they have to move up to pilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But would you trust them if they were like, this is my first time pilot in a plane? Being like the the number one captain? I mean, yeah, because like, have you seen the documentaries and stuff of how they get through flight school? 
Yeah, no, because I think like they basically lot, have to pass with 100%. A lot of people would, because um, I heard it on another podcast or like a TV show or something, they were like, oh no, I, I would freak out if if, it, if someone said that it was their But I don't think, I don't think they're legally allowed to say it's the no, first time I either. they are. But I think I would trust them because if it was your first time, you would be so keen to not get something wrong. Yeah. You would be under so much pressure to get everything right. You would be double checking everything. everything. Yeah. So I think you act to be safer with someone who's... First go. <laughs> this is my four hundred and seventy fourth. I think if you're if your pilot sounds really done with life, I think that's when you need to worry. <laughs> Hello and welcome to RZY three one three six to Liverpool. I am your captain Chloe, and today. <sighs> <laughs> At that point, I will be like, I'm like <laughs> "Excuse me, can we go through the safety demonstration just one more time?" <laughs> Just once more, please. <laughs> the captain comes on halfway through the flight, just... <sighs> Take me now, Lord. <laughs> if you are an airplane pilot, please just start one of your announcements on flight with just a big sigh. <laughs> Imagine, I would love a, a pilot to just go, right, lads, here's the thing. <laughs> We're going that down. Point, that point, everyone will be like... <laughs> We're, we're about halfway there, guys. It's okay. <laughs> they probably have rules about that, too. They yeah. probably have to, like... You probably have to have that pilot voice. It's like, we are currently cruising at about 32,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they all talk like that? Temperature is a uh, nice minus four outside. <laughs> Wind speed of 32 knots. And so, like, I don't care. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm in a plane. <laughs> I'm quite comfortable here watching Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. We've had Northern Irish pilots and they sound really chill, but like not like really nasally. I think yeah. they sound quite real. Just like, hello, my name's Connor. I'm your captain today. We're cr- currently cruising at around 32,000 feet. We'll be there. We'll be like if you're an airplane p- like pilot, gone if you're doing that, just be like, and that's about the same as 20 double-decker buses. Yeah, like 15 Make big bends. It, yeah. Like, we are flying at the height of Mount Everest. Yeah. Like, if Everest was in front of us, we would be smashed. <laughs> we would be punching Everest in the face. <laughs> Similarly, if you're a boat, just like, we're currently cruising along at 42 knots. We're currently cruising along as fast as Lewis Hamilton would be in the air. <laughs> yeah. If so we were I... a car, all you would hear is... I think I'd be happy enough if a boat captain just went, I oh, we're flying along right like <laughs> See what I'm playing like everything's going good guys. <laughs> Chat in a bit. I would appreciate that just like every couple of hours in a long flight, just the captain checking in just every now and then just just to say everything's going smoothly. Hope you're having a good time. Cheers. <laughs> no, like a radio presenter. And now it's time for our tea time teaser. <laughs> If you are training to be a pilot or you know someone who is a pilot or if you're in charge of an airline, please make this please a thing. Make tea time teasers a thing. That would be unreal. Just every now and then the captain just coming in going, Ah, if you feed me, I will live. If you give me water, I will die. What is it? What am I? Please give your answers to Kathy the, st- Kathy the stewardess as she walks through the cabin. Write your row number and seat number on the thing and we will give a free glass of water to whoever gets it right. Thank you. <laughs> and our winners are everyone on the plane it was a fire there is no fire on board don't panic <laughs> <laughs> it was a fire excuse me excuse me did you say something about fire <laughs> we had doris at the back <laughs> we've talked i don't know how long we've talked about planes now that's that has been my favorite this this is the best topic we've ever come up with on a podcast I'm sorry if you don't like flying. I'm sorry if we've completely terrorised Look, you. Planes are essentially just flying tin cans. And if you're going to go, what better way to go than in a tin can? Because baked beans come in tin cans. And what is better than baked beans? Nothing. Eggs. Mm, nah, baked I beans. am willing to fight you that scrambled egg, decent scrambled eggs are better than beans. Heinz baked beans, though. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Baked beans. Tin can. Although ice cream, but like proper foodstuffs, baked beans. Yeah. And I mean, they last for years. I think 
you could probably survive yeah i was gonna say if i was ever in like a nuclear apocalypse or something i I would love to have just i would if there's if there is ever anything about a nuclear attack or a solar flare or whatever i am going to the nearest heinz beans factory what if brexit ruins big beans i would be fuming like as in because they changed the recipe or something because they can't get the ingredients i would be gutted that could happen so many foodstuffs I would be devastated. I would literally, I would cry. I'd have a breakdown. So would I actually. I'm really sensitive to food tastes. <laughs> we, go, <laughs> we go, we go to different like, you know, cafes and stuff for lunch. And if Judith gets baked beans, she'll be able to straight away go, that's not Heinz. <laughs> I can tell the difference Heinz. between Heinz and Bachelors and then there's like supermarket brands. <laughs> Just so sad. <laughs> take away four, that's I've not seen. Heinz. That's not Heinz. That's not, that's not Heinz. <laughs> Deirdre! <laughs> That's not Heinz! Just for the record, I don't it's make a Heinz. big deal. <laughs> I would take a spoonful and go, That's not Heinz, but she maybe put it on Snapchat. <laughs> you I wouldn't never you put it on Snapchat. Snapchat. I will now. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Bert's Korean. Not Heinz. It wasn't Heinz, yeah. On Saturday it wasn't. It was I'd say it was Bachelors maybe, but uh <laughs> not Heinz. Or is it Branston? Just the two beans. The ones in the black tin. Oh, I don't know. Well oh, that's Branston, yeah, because it's the same sort of tin as Branston pickle. Okay, well, uh their beans are alright. You can't beat Heinz though. We have a Christmas tree in this room. What? Oh maybe Christmas tree from PT. Oh tan and ban oh tan and ban. Flip me, that's nearly 20 years old. I'll take a picture. That Christmas tree. I'm just yeah. taking pictures of all the things today. I hope you remember to post it. Oh, <gasps> just while we're thinking, I have a joke that I told in the last podcast, but it's a really good joke. Like, you say the last podcast, but... The one that the failed. One that failed. But uh, what did the green grape say to the purple bra- grape? I don't know, Chloe, what did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe! Just breathe out! Just breathe, breathe out! She get out because it's like a purple grape, like a purple human would just be like not breathing. But like a green human would be like about to book. So it doesn't really make sense. But anyway, happy Christmas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, we were talking about Christmas trees and happy Christmas happened. Sorry. Um, You know what sucks? Cliffhangers. Like as in on movies and TV shows? Yeah. Why, what did you think it meant? Like, people who just hang on the edge of cliffs <laughs> for the crack. I mean, they suck too. Like, what do they think they're doing? Oh, goodness. But yeah, it's just, like, I suppose people aren't really, they don't have that now. Well, they had it as Game of Thrones. But I mean, like, Game of Thrones, that's, nah, didn't get it. <laughs> but yeah, like, just having to wait another week. Like, I've been re-watching Doctor Who and just some of the episodes, it's like, next time! And you're like, but how can I wait another week? And then you're just sort of like... I can just watch it now. Yeah. But like, whenever it was actually on, you did have to wait a week and it was just like, this is awful. But then at the same time, unless it's a really, really good cliffhanger. Yeah, there's no you point. For- you forget about it within a couple of days. Yeah. And then it's only whenever it's like maybe the day before you're like, oh, Doctor Who's on again. Oh, flip. Remember the last of the, end of the last episode. Goodness, that was awful. Speaking of Doctor Who, um, number one, uh, one of our pals from Karate has started watching Doctor Who and he's really into it. And he was like, have you ever heard of Doctor Who? And I was like, have I heard of Doctor Who? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, so, so you have? And I was like, mate, you are talking to the biggest Doctor Who fan in this room. And he was like, I've just started watching it. And I was like, mate, what episode are you watching? He started from the very beginning of 2005 yeah. too. And I was also like, like that is dedication. Like he's seen clips and bits and pieces because he used to watch it on YouTube. He used to watch like clips of it. Yeah. But then he, I think he found it was on Netflix. Yeah. And he started watching it all from the start. And uh, we were chatting. Like, he was like, I can't wait to get to Matt Smith. I think he's my favourite. And I was like, mate, David Tennant. And he was like, everyone likes David Tennant though. And I was like, excuse me. Yes, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah, but he, he currently, he likes Christopher Eccleston. He thinks he's good. Um, and I was like, yeah, he's really funny. He's- I've liked all the doctors. Like, yeah, I didn't like Matt Smith at the start. But now that I'm on like Matt Smith's series... He's okay, but I think David Tennant is just always going to be my wee doctor. Oh yeah, no, see him. Like, I didn't like Capaldi and I didn't like Matt Smith. I liked Capaldi more than like Matt Smith. Um, I like them both equally now because I've watched all of their episodes and yeah. stuff. Um, and I think they're both, they're 
all of them are really yeah, good yeah, 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 in their own ways. But I think David Tennant, I think just because of the age, the age we, were we were at, <laughs> and then the fact that that was whenever we properly fully got invested in it, mm -hmm. I think he's just always going to be our doctor. Yeah. Like in the same way that Tom Baker is a lot of yeah. people's doctors, doctor. Like yeah, like. I've never really heard of anyone else sort of being like really an advocate for a certain doctor apart from either David Tennant or Tom Baker. Yeah. It's always those two. And I think it's just because, well, David Tennant, because I'm pretty sure he's one of the only Doctor Who's in the new series that was a Doctor Who fan before they got the job. Yeah. He was so enthusiastic about, yeah. about it as well, I think. He and just... that came through. I think that's why people like him mm -hmm. as well, because he was just sort of like... <gasps> and that but was... also, he, he was on it for the longest run so far. Yeah. And I think that helped because then he covered a bigger audience, if yeah. that makes sense. Um, but well, I didn't... Did Matt Smith not overtake him? In the I don't one? think so. Um, I didn't like Matt Smith at the start, but I think I was just grieving over David Tennant. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't like Capaldi at the start just because I was sort of... I think it was either a combination of I was just getting used to Matt Smith and then I was also like, oh, he's old and Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was sort of like... he. The, the writing helps a lot too. Yeah, like if you get a bad episode with a doctor, you're sort of like, well, like not a bad episode, but like an episode. interesting one. I think that whenever they're writing episodes for Doctor Who, they have to know who the doctor is. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, I can't imagine, say, the Empty Child episodes working with David Tennant yeah. as the doctor. Yeah. It has to be Christopher Eccleston. Christopher Eccleston has that sort of sassy kind of yeah. sarcastic attitude. Yeah. You could maybe, Capaldi could maybe step into those ones yeah just because he is quite like christopher eccleston in that he's sarcastic like, yeah. and a bit sort of out there he just speaks yeah like it's just <laughs> it, uh, yeah like each of the doctors have their own personality but then that's sort of what the show was about yeah that they all sort of like they're either sort of angsty or just angry or like a bit confused i mean david tennant had a proper full arc yeah. as, a, as a doctor I then think. so did matt smith because he had, like, up until Amy and Rory left, and that was one arc. And then with Clara. Yeah. Yeah. Which one was the school teacher? Was that Clara? Clara, yeah. And Danny Pink? Yeah. Okay, I haven't got to that bit yet, but I've met Clara in, like, the present day. Yeah. yeah. With the Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Good episodes. Good episodes. But, um, there's nothing, there's no Doctor Who this year. I think, I think... Absolutely nothing. They're gonna lose out by doing that. Yeah, because even in the years when David Tennant was like leaving, and they like they still had the Easter special. Yeah. And they still had Torchwood and Sarah Jean, I think, at that time as yeah. well. So there was still a presence. Yeah, yeah. And there was like the I think there was the cartoon one on CBBC as well. Oh know? yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. But they, there's nothing. There's. Like, there's not even, like, we... I mean, there's, like, the odd picture and stuff from, like... Well, I know that they started filming, filming again, but, like, that's... It's kind of sad that, like, if they're not even doing reruns. Like, if it was me, I would be fighting the BBC to get reruns put on. Yeah, like, putting up Judy's first series again. Yeah. Just, and, I mean, I know it's on iPlayer, but, I mean, unless you're a huge fan and unless there's hype about it on TV or somewhere, yeah. you're not going to go looking for it. Like, I think especially they're going to lose out because this is, like, it's a new Doctor she's and it's a female Doctor. Yeah. And she's only done one series. Yeah. I think No one gonna... really knows about her. Like, yeah. you'd nearly forget that it happened. Yeah. And I mean, I know there was a big hype at the time, but it's really died now. Yeah. Um, And I hope that that isn't... Like, I suppose maybe they sort of kept it out this year because they had so many other series is coming and then they had the final series of game of thrones and they're sort of like well viewing figures aren't going to be the same yeah but but even so you would have got it on the iplayer and stuff yeah. you would have got it on catch up because people would have been watching guys can we just work for the bbc we will sort you guys out <laughs> <laughs> i want to be the next doctor oh, i wouldn't even want to be the next doctor like i'm not even all that fussed on being the doctor i would happily be the doctor's companion yeah or a body no one ever really talks I... about being a body yeah I don't know if I could be a baddie though. Like, especially in Doctor Who, because I'd be like, no, but I love the Doctor too much, I can't pretend to kill him. Yeah, that is true. You could be one of the baddies that, like, turns you, out good. You in work the end. for the baddie and then you end up betraying Being the baddie and going to the Doctor. Yeah. I don't know. But it would be nice to be forgiven by the Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of grovel. Yeah. She'd be like, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, that would be cool. I'd like to act in things. <laughs> Give us a job, please. Please. Because that would be great. I don't even want my face everywhere. I just want to be acting. <laughs> I like to think I'd be like Lotus Capaldi style if I ever got like quote unquote <laughs> famous. It's just like, what is happening? No. Yeah. I just like, I blocked the toilet. I had to go buy a plunger. <laughs> Keeping it real. I literally like walk into interviews and like, so what is, what's it like being like really famous? And I'm still like, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm not though. <laughs> is it like a really sort of like star studded lifestyle? Are you like dining out at fancy restaurants? Just like lads, I had Cocoa Pops for my dinner last night. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, I think if, if they were like, do you do like fine dining and stuff? I'd be like, I've, I've been to Nando's twice this week. Does that count? <laughs> I, I reckon I don't I I hope I'm not I wouldn't be like a really like f- well not like extravagant that sort of yeah. thing for but at the same time I don't want to be pure frugal with my money yeah I th- I like to think that uh the sensible I want to be sensible yeah with my money. but I like to think that I would maybe treat myself and it would be like so what was your biggest spend um so far I would be like I bought Halo Top when it wasn't on offer <laughs> <laughs> and everyone would be like what like you know the ice cream it was a fiver I bought like six tubs. Yeah, I know. I know. It was. I should have just gone to Asda where it's two fifty, but I just Tesco was there, and I. <laughs> so, what's your biggest spend this week? I bought. I bought Kellogg's Cocoa Pops. <gasps> Guys, living the high life. Kellogg's Cocoa Pops aren't as nice as Tesco Choco Snaps, though. Or Asda ones. I haven't tried the Asda ones properly in a while. Oh, hey Susan. Hey Susan. Susan not the dog Su- is back. Not Susan, our American friend, but Susan the dog. We have a question, don't we? We do. Is that someone out there? I think so. Okay, let's quickly get this question. So, Les. Hi, Les. Thanks Hi, for Les. listening. What's Les short for? Le- Elizabeth? <laughs> Liz is short for Elizabeth. 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 Um, so, as a person, we're all different, so we have personality. So, do animals have anima- animality? And could it be taken further? For example, cats, do they have catality? Right, I have thought about this. We also discussed it. It's like, we talk about personalities because we're people. And so we can't say like, oh, that dog has a dog analogy because like, we can't understand that. We have to put it in a way that we can understand so we say it's personality whereas if dogs could talk or if we could listen into dogs dogs would always be co- talking about like dogality and they'd be like well that human has a really nice dogality and yeah that's what they would say shall we move before i was gonna say do you want to close the door just yep so we're gonna close the door sorry if you can hear the dog in the background just ignore the dog um but yeah okay just gonna go see who it is so i'll just um entertain everybody so um yeah how's life you going good you should definitely like and share this podcast with everybody you meet um in fact you know what we'll just sort of do another Irish phrase of the week um just while you're just gone because that's one of the things that we have to do and we neglected to do in the rubbish podcast but um we're gonna go with gee whiz patty which is sort of like a oh flip flip me dear goodness oh dear um so yeah you can just say it in in many different ways so you would either you could whisper it you could say gee whiz patty or you could shout it in fact tell you what after three we'll just we'll all say it together so one two three gee whiz, whiz patty. patty and do this back it's like a magic trick i don't know who was there um they came in and they left so they probably heard us chatting away through the window but Someone like a burglar walking in. Oh, whoop, sorry. I think they must have walked away because Sue's barking. But whispering is weird because it does sound threatening. Yeah. <clears throat> Even like nursery rhymes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. 
It's like to be a bit like a threat. Yeah. Whispers are weird. Yeah. So's ASMR. If we talk about that. Oh no! Don't talk about ASMR. I hate People that. Eating. No. Don't. And they. Oh no! No. So I'm not going to be able to listen to back to this to make sure the sound's okay because I know that's coming. It is disgusting. Um. I mean, it, some people, some people like it. But yeah. I personally think it's weird. Whatever floats your boat. Anyway, I think we should end this podcast because yeah. Sue is just. It's also, also fairly long. Yeah. It's a substantial Your podcast. burp smells. <laughs> I did try to move back. I'm sorry. You said that in the last podcast too. I never, I try not to mention it because it's weird. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, make sure you give this a like or a rating depending on what app you use, what yep. website you use. Um, go to share. Share it with people. Um, Give us a tweet. Uh, we asked you some questions, so if you could respond to those, that would be fabulous. Skit underscore twins or skit under slash twins. Uh, have you got any podcast recommendations, Chloe? Um, Dear Hank and John is always good. Yeah, we stole the sponsored parts uh, from their podcast. It is a really good podcast to listen to. Very enjoyable. Uh, also, Dave Elliott's Weird Podcast. That's sort of a Northern Irish one. Uh, there's the She and Todd, the She and Todd cast. Another Northern Irish one, another uh-huh. comedian. Sean Hegarty talks to himself, that's another Northern Irish one. And Hanging with the Hegartys, which is Sean Hegarty again, but with his wife Diona as well. And yeah, my favourite murder, mini suits, they're quite good. That's enough to be getting on with. If yeah. you do if you are interested in listening to those podcasts, if you drop us a tweet and say, What were those podcasts you talked about? Uh we'll we can send, send you a link. link. And yeah, give them a listen. Yeah, thank you very much for listening. Take care. Be good. Make good choices. And be kind. Well. Be kind to people. Yep, yeah, be nice. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.